Our top story, a man taken into custody by CHP officers ends up dead after yelling, I can't breathe, 12 times. Good evening. Welcome to Fox 7 News at 5. I'm Alex Michelson. And I'm Christine Devine. The video is explosive and disturbing, a warning some viewers may find it hard to watch. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. This happened in Altadena two years ago before the infamous George Floyd video where he yells, I can't breathe. This video was sealed until today. Christina Gonzalez joins us live with the troubling video and what led up to it. Christina. Yeah, it actually took a judge's order to get this video released, going against California State Attorney General, who's had it sealed pending the investigations. And I want to reiterate, it's difficult to watch. It's really difficult to listen to, but the family wants the public to see this. So let's show you what we got. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. The voice of Edward Bronstein on video shot by a CHP sergeant on March of 2020 inside the garage bay of Altadena's CHP station. Minutes before, he had been placed on the mat after being arrested for DUI, which allows officers to take blood forcefully with a warrant if he refuses a breathalyzer or giving blood, which he seemingly had. This is your last opportunity. Otherwise, you're going face down on the mat and we're going to keep on going. The officers proceed to pin him to the mat. And you hear. I'll do it willingly. I'll do it willingly. Before he starts to say, I can't breathe, he starts to say, I will willingly take the, the test now. I will willingly give the blood. The man's family clutching his photo as attorneys narrate the video. He says, I can't breathe. 12 times is what I counted. Two minutes after they start applying body weight to his back is when he stops breathing. Are, are you going to see it? No audible response from Bronstein. Two and a half minutes into the altercation is when they uh, they start testing his blood. That you can see them start taking a pulse, and there's no pulse. Edward, Edward, we come up. It's not till another minute passes while they're still drawing blood that you hear officers. You got a syringe? Sure, you got a pulse on him. Three minutes later, they put a Band-Aid on the draw spot and then turn him over. They lift his head up. Get his airway open. No response from Bronstein. Where's CPR? Where's first aid? When they finally flip him over, he's lifeless. He's dead. He's cold. He's blue. He at least deserved a chance to have CPR done. Um, to be treated like a human, he was treated like trash. Bronstein's family wants the officers prosecuted. Punish them. Take them away. Take them out of them. Don't let them work anymore to hurt anybody like they did my son. And they're still working. I don't understand that. We did try to reach CHP officials who are saying, quote, because there is pending litigation, the CHP cannot comment on this case at this time. I'm Christina Gonzalez, live in Altadena. Back to you guys in the studio. Hard to watch. Christina, thank you.